What's up guys? This is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you how to create a Google form on your laptop. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is open a browser on your laptop. After that, you've got to search for forms.google.com and just search for that. And then this will take you to the site from where you can create a Google form. So over here the first thing which you can see are a few templates. So they have some for contact information, party invite. And if you want more of them, just click on template gallery and then you'll get an entire list. But for now, I'll just show you how to create one from scratch. For that, just click on blank that's written over here. So the first thing which you'll want to do is to add a title. For that, just click on untitled form that's written over here. And let's say if it's a survey, you can just type that over here. After that, if you want to add a description, you can add that as well. So once all of this is done, we can start creating the form. The first thing which you'll want to do is just click on this box, which is called untitled question. And over here, you can type the first question. So let's say in the first question, you'll want to ask for their email ID. So then you can just type enter your email. And then over here on the right, if you just click on this arrow, you can see that they have many options. So this is basically what type of a response you want. You can have a short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. But right now, since we only want the email ID, I'll just select short answer. After that, if I want to make this question required, you can see that over here they have an option called required. And now if I just click on the bar, then this question will be required. So basically a person that's filling in this form will have to enter the email ID and only then will they be able to submit it. After that, to add the next question, you can just click on the plus button that's written over here. So this is the add question button. And over here, you can type in the question. So let's say I want to ask, have you subscribed? So after entering the question, again, click on this box over here. And then just select the option which suits this question of have you subscribed. So for this, multiple choice will be the best since you can put options of yes and no. So I'll select that. After that, just click on option one that's written over here and you can type in the first option. Then if you want to add no, click on add option that's written just below this and you can see it's automatically said no. Then if you want to add one more, you can again click on add option and the same way you can add the third option. After that, if you want to delete a question, they have an option to delete it over here. So as you can see, it's gone. But if you want to get it back, they have an option of undo that's on the top right over here. So now I'll just add one last question. So again, click on this plus button that's written over here. And for the third question, I'll just type, do you have any suggestions? Then again, the same way, click on this box over here. And since you're asking for suggestions, select paragraph. And again, if you want to keep this question required, you can just select it. And even for the previous one, if you want it required, click on the question and then just click on this bar over here. So now if you want to see how your form will look to someone who's filling it in, then you can just preview it by clicking on the eye icon that's over here. So just click on preview and over here you can see the form. So on top you can see the title and then the description and the three questions. And next to each question, you'll see this red star which basically indicates that this question is required. So now I've gone back to the form and let's say I want to rearrange the questions. So if I want to put have you subscribed on top, then just select these six dots which are over here and then just drag the entire box above. And as you can see, that's become the first question. After that, I'll show you how to change the theme of the form. For that, just click on this icon over here, which is to customize the theme. Then the first option is for a header image. So then just click on choose image if you want to add a header. Then over here, they have some default ones or else just click on upload to upload it from your laptop. So I've selected it and now just click on insert. And here as you can see, the header image has come. After that, to change the theme color, you have some options here. So I'll select this color for now. And then the background color and the font the same way you can just select whichever one you like the best. So I'll quickly change all of them. So now again, if you want to preview the form to see how it looks, just click on the eye icon over here. So this is how you create a form 
And now I'll just show you how to send it to others and see the responses. So first to send it to others, just click on the send button that's written on the top right over here. You have some options. If you want to send it via email, then you can just type in all of the email addresses over here. After that, you can decide the subject, then the message. The second method is by sending a code. For that, click on the second icon. Then from here, you can just shorten the URL by clicking on this box. And then to copy the code, just click on copy. And as you can see, it's copied to clipboard. After that, you can share it via Facebook or Twitter. And then if you want to collect the email IDs, you can just click on this box on top. So these are basically all of the different ways that you can share the form. And now the last thing to do is check the responses. So for that, just click on responses over here. And right now I've just responded from one account. You can see they have a chart. And if you scroll down, you can get all of the email IDs, the suggestions. Then question wise, you can see all of the answers. And then individual is basically seeing all of the forms in an individual way. And now there's one last way to see all of the responses. And it's my personal favorite. For that, just click on this green button over here. And this is basically to link all of the responses to a spreadsheet. So I'll show you how that works. So for that, just click on this icon. After that, click on create a new spreadsheet. Then you can type the name and click on create. And as you can see, all of the responses will come over here. You'll get all of the responses in a systematic manner. And the part which I like is that this will auto update which makes it extremely helpful. So I hope this video helped you. And if you want to know how to create a quiz using Google Form, or if you want to know some cool add-ons for Google Forms, you can just click on these videos over here. Goodbye.